Good day, fellow investors. Last year, I would get an email daily. Sven, what do you think about copper miners now? How should we protect ourselves from inflation through commodities, especially copper and miners? Now, now that copper is down from 4.5 per pound, that was the case in 2021, and here it begin 2022, where I would get one email a day, now there is silence. There is nothing. Nobody asks anything about it. And I make this video, which is my summary, my everything about copper, put the details, the everything, and what does YouTube tell me? Sven, this video is your worst performing video. It sucks. Nobody gives a damn. So I think there must be something wrong in the market. Can we be so wired to buying things that go up instead of buying more when things go down? The risk of investing in copper here has been crazy high. Now it is medium, but now already nobody cares. When copper will be low again, I'll, I'll just explain why it will be low again. Nobody will want to invest but me, likely. Why me? Because I looked at them all. So on my investment platform where I share the summaries and everything of my research, there is the copper investment thesis, but I also looked at every copper miner out there. So this is the list I started with the A's and then did every copper miner out there. That's a 190 page outlook of the copper miners. And then the most interesting, I will make a deep dive like this one and others, this one covered also deep dive, deep dive. And from those, I will try to select the best ones that will fit my risk and reward when the right opportunity comes. And the right opportunity, as said in this video, will be when copper prices are at the 90th percentile cost of production. So around, depending on inflation, 2.5. So still 20, 30% to go lower. If we have a recession that will be reached earlier, but there is also the fundamental supply and demand that is not as every copper miner is presenting where Elon Musk will buy all the copper to electrify his way to Mars. That is not that fast, guys. He might do it, he's Elon Musk, but not that fast with copper. As I said, I looked at all the miners and this is what most miners discuss every presentation by 20. 35, there will be a 7 million ton deficit of copper because there simply are not enough projects, existing mines. Copper is getting deeper to mine, lower grades, so um, less copper, the easier copper has been mined. And then everyone is projecting growth. We will produce more to take advantage of the high prices where copper, they say, will have to be at 5 dollars in the future. But then you look at data, upside long-term real 4.38, okay, 4.5, but this is the upside case that they present, but there is also the base case. So 3.5, now not that much higher than when we are now. So you can take the base case and calculate cash flows. However, this base case, if you look at it, First, we are here, and then they already say, okay, copper prices will go down. Of course, copper prices are already here from this presentation made just a while ago, so go down, stay down till 2025, and then maybe upside or standard. And that is because they tell you to focus on this, You look at this huge supply gap here and expecting copper prices higher, but then everyone is forgetting about this. Look at the existing and committed projects. The supply is going above the black line of demand. This means in my eyes, or I am the idiot, that there will be oversupply of copper 
in the coming periods. And this is perhaps a fairer chart. They show you, yes, this is the supply gap that everyone is showing, but look at the possible projects. If copper prices are high, there will be a mountain of possible projects that are entering the market. And then again, keeping the balance in the market, depending on the price, but also when the situation is volatile, creating oversupply. Because when it comes to commodities, the cure for high prices are high prices. High prices, every copper miner of the 100 that I looked is increasing production. Everyone. Nobody said, oh, we're going to do nothing, just pay dividends, enjoy life and smoke a cigar. No one said that. Everyone is increasing production, pumping capex into drilling, into new mines, uh, optimizing uh, new mills, whatever. That tells me there is going to be oversupply in a year or two. When all those guys banking on copper at 4.5, flushed with cash from copper at 4.5, create those projects, because once you start, you might as well finish it, and that might push copper prices down to where we have seen them in 2016, just for inflation. And that might be, again, a great opportunity to make some money in copper, as we have made in the past. Because if I look at prices in 2021, are these high or low? Well, these are low, 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 and low prices create high prices. But the investments are already there, so high prices might again create low prices and that is the time as we have discussed to invest yes the demand cumulative demand in renewables and everything is there will likely be there at a high price however we have to wait a little bit and i am not and especially nobody on the copper market is investing now to get rewarded in 2060 we are investing now to get rewarded in 24 or 23 and some of you also to get rewarded tomorrow. So nobody thinks and the market doesn't think about 2060. Of course, yes, copper renewables, look at this beautiful nature and uh, they have to destroy it to mine the copper. So don't go that fast with your renewables saving the world. So really think about what you do, how you do it. If you want to be environmentally friendly, spend less, don't buy a new car, walk barefoot, and that is what we can do. Destroying this to get copper, to have an electric car somewhere and drive it around doesn't really sound that ESG. Maybe it's better than oil, burning fuels, etc., but it's up to us at the end. However, if I look again, the projects, this is a great overview of how many projects and how many billion pounds of copper are there. And we have to see how are those going to be developed at what prices. And that then also leads to oversupply and tells me one thing. Things are going to be volatile. We have seen copper at 4.5. We'll see it at 3, at 4, at 5, at 2. Who knows? That's the ups and downs. And the key is that if you buy when copper miners don't make any money, where everyone is struggling to survive, then sooner or later, because of the nature of mining, where you don't mine if you're burning money every month, the supply lowers, settles, balances the market, and everybody makes money on the upside. And if we can buy at those bad times, maybe it will happen once, twice in a decade, that's a low risk margin of safety value investment in copper. And that's exactly my plan. So you can see here that copper usually hits around the 90th percentile of the cash producing costs. And then it rebounds as when it doesn't pay, when your costs, cash costs are higher than the price of copper, you simply stop producing lower supply, balance the market and things then recover. So that is something keep in mind there is a lot a lot of projects there leak no liquidity micro caps a drill somewhere in the desert hoping for a strike 
that is the mining business but be very very careful the current situation is a medium risk medium reward if we hit the commodity super cycle that i don't think we will hit in the next two three years but it might happen you never know then copper will go to five and every investment made now in copper will be great if there is a recession and oversupply copper will go to two 2.5 or three and every copper investment now will be bad so this is the thesis i won't be doing any copper videos because youtube tells me not to do them so if you want to follow this over time you have my investment platform summarized and uh, you can check also what i do there what i share so feel free to check it out perhaps somewhere sometimes you get a bang from me this is the time to buy copper for i don't know 2x with low risk that's my goal hope you enjoy this thanks for watching subscribe if you haven't for other teases we'll soon discuss oil that's going down see where the balance is and i'll see you in the next video